Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be scanning a buzz. Uh, so here you see me going into the app, going into scan, and then the turntable mode. And what I'm making sure is that the crosshairs on the app are aligned with the crosshairs on the turntable. And now when you're ready, place the object on the turntable, tap to focus, and then scan. So there are 10 different scans that are performed, and you'll see in the bottom of the screen there, uh, it shows you a counter, and it's currently saying 10. And as, as it scans, 10 different scans, you'll see that counter come down. And I'll cut to the last scan now, which is the last scan. And after it performs the last scan, what you'll see is after a couple of seconds, the model will pop up. Now what you see here is actually an exploded view of all 10 scans. It's not the final 3D model you're after. Okay, so let's align these models together so that we have a 360 degree model. So what I'm gonna do here is choose the align tool. And now I'm gonna choose two scans with overlapping features and it's going to show me a split view. Now the goal here is to choose seven pairs of common points between the two scans. So zoom in, zoom out as necessary. I'm trying to find common features and then tap the first point on the top screen and the second point on the bottom screen. And once I've done all seven, press the tick and give it a couple of seconds and you've got a 360 degree model. So at this stage, this is still a point cloud. It is not a mesh. So I'm going to show you how to erase noise. Um, so to erase noise, uh, it's very simple. Um, I'll set it up here. And now what I'm going to do is choose the eraser tool. And the eraser tool works like a lasso tool. Um, you basically draw loops around noise and then you confirm again and it'll erase those vertices. You can be as thorough as you'd like. Uh, you can zoom in, zoom out, erase as much noise as you'd like. Uh, and this is still a point cloud, it is not a mesh. Now I'm going to show you how to export this model. Uh, super simple, click the share icon. Uh, it's asking you if you want it to be a raw or a mesh. In this case I want it to be a raw point cloud as a PLY, it'll generate the PLY mesh and it'll ask you if you're on iPhone, if you'd like to airdrop it or save it to your Dropbox or save it to iCloud. So I'm gonna airdrop it. Okay, so I've got the file here on my desktop. Uh, it comes through as a zipped file. So I'm gonna unzip it. There's the folder. I'm gonna rename that bars. When I open that, I'll see all my 10 scans. So it starts at zero, ends at nine. So I'm gonna open Cloud Compare. And now what I'll do is I'll drag all these 10 files onto Cloud Compare and it'll load all 10 files sequentially. So as you can see, there's my 10 scans. Now this is still a point cloud, it is not a mesh. So as you can see, it's just a bunch of points. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to merge them into one file. So edit and then merge. So there it is, it's, still, it's now one file. So it's showing you some funky colors it's called a scalar field. We'll turn that into RGB and you can see the original textures. So the next step now is to turn this into a mesh, highlight the cloud, plugins, and choose surface reconstruction. And here you can choose between eight and 10, anything longer and it'll take a while for it to process. So I've chosen nine. So on my computer, it takes around two minutes for it to finish. and there's the mesh. So turn off the cloud, and now as you can see, this is a solid mesh. So the next step is to save this. So what I'm gonna do is highlight the mesh, and go file, save, and it gives you a bunch of options, and you can choose a variety of file formats. So I'm gonna rename this as vars.obj save. And there you go. That's wild.obj.